Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the IPTV Smart Address app to your Fire Stick or Android TV device. And first of all, what you gotta do is get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. You can actually get Downloader free of charge. To do so, just go to search on your device and start typing Downloader in your search bar. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So you click on it. And now there's the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you got downloader, it's not over yet because you still need to set it up. So now to set up downloader, you'll go to settings by clicking this button with a gear icon, then click on my Fire TV. And from here, you will have to turn on developer options for your Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to move from here. Just go to about, select Fire TV Stick and just start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging. Then you have to go to install on apps. And from here, all you have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So we go back to the list of apps on our Fire Stick. Here it is, open it up, and there is the downloader, which is a top and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using downloader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say we'll connect to Germany right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is gonna be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So just go back to the list of apps on the Fire Stick, open it up, and finally go to Downloader. So we open Downloader as well, and now all you have to do in here is open the search bar and start typing in the link which will be iptvsmarters.com. So let's do it. Once again, it's IPTV Smarters. com. That's the link, just enter it as you see on your screen and make sure not to make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake, then the link will not work for you. And then you click on go, and while it's loading, make sure to 
subscribe my channel, so you would get even more content about fire sticks. Then such a page might appear, and in that case you would need to click here to verify that you are a human. So click here on that check mark, and now a web page should open up for us. And when the web page opens, you just have to scroll it down a bit, keep scrolling until you see the download page, download this page, and then look for Android app, and there should be the direct download APK file button. So you will click on it. And now a new web page will open, and in a couple of moments the download of IPTV Smarters should start for your Fire Stick. And there you go, the download has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. And after the download is finished, we of course also have to install this app to our device, so click Install. And now the IPTV Smarters will finish installing to the Fire Stick. And after that, don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on your device. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of the unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now if you go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, here it is, let's open it up and then you will find the IPTV Smarters application. So first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.